Hello there, I'm Andy Olson with Echoes Way Ministries. Thanks for joining me for another installment of Lessons in Logic. For this installment, we are talking about poisoning the well. Now, poisoning the well is a subset of the ad hominem. If we look at ad hominem as not only a fallacy, but a group of fallacies, uh, poisoning the well would fill, fall into that group. And it, in fact, it's a preemptive ad hominem. What poisoning the well does is that it seeks to form negative bias against an opponent or his source before he can make an illogical argument. So an example that I have in my on the screen there as you see in my materials is that uh, two people are arguing about the postal service. One is a pro postal service, one is apparently anti. I don't know if they're trying to privatize or whatnot but uh, the anti would say, my opponent has been known to cite Benjamin Franklin as a source in support of the U.S. Postal Service. Before he does, you should know that Benjamin Franklin is a known womanizer and philanderer. So we see here that the person is preemptively committing an ad hominem attack against Ben Franklin to instill doubt in your mind as, uh, as an audience member in this debate in order to uh, get you to not consider the arguments that are yet forthcoming. And we see that it is fallacious because it has nothing to do with the Postal Service and it has nothing to do with the person who's arguing on behalf of the Postal Service. It's, it's a, to attack his source and to attack his source on something that is irrelevant to the discussion. So, And that, as we know, is always key when it comes to logical fallacies that it is something that is not uh, relevant to the discussion. So that's a short one, Poisoning in the Well, the subset of Ad Hominem. And uh, I'm Andy Olson with Equizoid Ministries, and we'll be back soon with another installment of Lessons in Logic.